In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the web view control. Sometimes in your applications, you'd like to be able to show a browser page, but you don't want to link out to the actual browser application. You want to keep the user within your application, and you may even want to control what they can and cannot browse to. Sometimes applications want to go to a web view because they want to be able to show the content, perhaps of someone's Facebook page. Or if it's an e-commerce site, they may want to go to the business's website. So we're going to take a look at the web view. And we're going to do a couple of lessons on it. We're going to do a basic web view in this lesson, and then we'll see how to restrict content in the next lesson. So I have my storyboard, and I'm going to have a little address bar and a go button to go to that particular URL and the web view. And the web view is just another control. You can find it down here towards the bottom. There he is. There are a lot of controls, so sometimes it takes a little while to find them. In terms of connections, I've just created a referencing outlet for the web view, a referencing outlet for our address text box, and an event for our button. And the code is pretty simple. You can see our outlets for our text field and our web view and our button event. I'm going to get the address that they've entered into the text box, and I'm going to check it. And I need it to have a protocol if they haven't entered one. So I'm going to look for HTTP. And if the address does not begin with HTTP, I'll assume they haven't entered the protocol, and I'll just prepend the string with HTTP colon slash slash. Then I'll create an NSURL object using that address and an NSURL request using that URL. And finally, I get to go to my web view, mistake. I get to go to my web view and load the request, passing in that NSURL request object. So that's pretty simple. Now there's one other little thing that will probably trip you up. I'm using HTTP, which of course is not a secure link and not necessarily a good practice to use in a generic general sense that allows a user to go anywhere with an unsecure site. And by default, iOS does not allow this. But if we go into our info P list, we can create a key that will allow it. So you create a dictionary called NS app transport security, and you add one item NS allows arbitrary loads and it's a Boolean and you set that to yes. Now this is not a recommended thing for a real production app. So be aware of that. And for a production app, if you're going to set that, you may want to restrict where they can go a lot more than what I'm doing here, which is no restriction whatsoever. Okay, with that warning, let's run this and see what the web view looks like. And here's my little text box and my button. And the web view, of course, doesn't have anything loaded, so it's empty at this point. And when I click on go, well, it looks like a web page. And I can go wherever I want to go. And you can see that it works just as you would expect. So in this way, the user actually has unrestricted access to the browser and I'm effectively created a mini browser in this application. Not a particularly full-featured one, but a mini one nonetheless. 
it's probably not necessarily what you really want them to do in the application. You probably want to specify where they go and control where they can go and where they cannot go. And we're going to take a look at that in the next lesson.